Hello, Robert Neely again, and again, welcome. This time to day nine in our free four week program Connecting with Solutions in Hypnosis. So, um, we explored in an earlier video the idea that we can think of hypnosis as an experience that involves focus and absorption that we call hypnosis. And we also noticed, we also explored asking about someone like what someone likes to do. So if we can invite someone into an experience that they like, it's going to be fine. Most people are very happy to experience and re-experience something that they like. We can ask someone to recall whatever that is, they like reading a book, they like riding a bike, they like going for a walk in nature. Let's go for a bike ride. Let's read a book. Let's go for a walk in nature. Would that be okay? So then we're inviting an experience. We can then invite someone to focus on some part of that experience. It may be some sense of the air on the skin or the sound of the birds in the forest or the the, the pleasure of, of uh, noticing the character in a, in, a, in a book or in a film. So we're inviting focus and always inviting the focus in whatever way is happening for the client. Not that there's a particular way or particular degree of focus, but we're inviting the individual to focus in any way that they are. And then and the next step is to invite someone to become absorbed. When someone's focused on something that they enjoy, it's very easy for them to become more absorbed in the experience. So we can invite an absorption simply by saying that. As you're focusing on the bike ride of reading the book, as you're focusing on walking through the bush in nature, can you allow yourself to become more absorbed, increasingly absorbed? Can you allow that absorption to increase in a natural way that it can when we're doing something that we enjoy? So now we've got the ingredients for what we're describing as hypnosis. Experience, focus, and absorption. And if you notice when you or when anyone is in an experience of focus and absorption, there are certain physiological changes that happen. So we invite someone into an experience they like, we invite them to focus, we invite them to become absorbed. Then we can comment on the physiological changes that we can observe. For example, we can say, Without you making any effort, I can notice that your breathing is subtly slower and deeper. I can notice that your eyelids are blinking differently. And of course, some people will close their eyes. And we can say, and, and you've closed your eyes. They don't have to close their eyes. But we can comment on any change in the blinking that is apparent. Very often... An adult in a focused, absorbed experience will become rather still. So we can say, I can notice that there's very little movement in your body. This doesn't apply with kids. When kids watching television, reading, they move all around the place. So don't tell kids that they're sitting still, because they won't be. But if an adult is still, there's not much movement, we can say there's relatively little movement in your body. So, and if someone, we only want to comment on something that we want to encourage. If someone is sitting and they're very clearly becoming focused and their breathing's changed, but they're fidgeting with their fingers, we don't want to talk about that. We can say, I notice that your feet are very still. Just ignore the fingers, ignore the feet, ignore anything that we don't want to enhance and only speak about things that we do want to enhance. 
Uh, another change that, that often happens is a change in the facial configuration. So instead of the face being like this, it becomes more like that. It's as if something, somehow the face smooths out. And we can comment. And I notice that your face is smoothing out. So when we talk about, when we vocalise, when we articulate these changes that we can observe, it helps to let the client know that something different is happening. It helps to encourage those changes. And it also it reassures them that what's happening is okay. So as well as commenting on these changes, we can also make some generic encouraging noises like, oh, that's good. Aha, uh -huh. hmm. That's right. Very nice. Just some generic comments like that. So here's the exercise. When you're with a client, you found out what they like, what they like about it, invite them to recall, to re-experience, to imagine being in the experience that they like to do. Invite focus, invite absorption, and comment on the changes that you can observe. Something to play with. So if you can do this and please leave some comments below or send me a, uh, an email and be willing to be surprised just how easy and natural this process can be. Because we're not imposing anything from within, from ourselves and our wisdom and our experience and our expertise. We are actually inviting, we're evoking, we're helping someone to reconnect with their own experience. And because it's theirs, it'll be easy, it'll be natural, and it'll fit them. So have a play with that, leave some comments, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.